Yo, what's up, guys? How are we doing today, man? Kind of show us more NBA break news out today. We'll be talking about James Wiseman as we'll just figure it out right now. That Golden State Warriors center James Wiseman has been ruled out for the rest of the season and will continue rehabilitating his right knee. Wiseman has been recovering from meniscus tear last April, and the team has been cautious to protect him in the long term. They also said Wiseman is expected to remain in the Bay Area to continue his rehab, which includes strength and conditioning exercises. There are no plans for more surgery on the knee, sources said. Wiseman played three games in the G League this month before swelling in his knee salad. So I did a video about Wiseman, like, I think last week. He was literally in the G League. He was looking well, and I was excited for him to come back. And then all of a sudden, he goes ahead and gets another setback. Because last year as well, I believe this is where he initially got the injury. He missed uh, the whole entire uh, play-in for the Warriors. Um, and he missed the end of the regular season for them as well with this injury. And I thought that we all thought he would be back this season. He would be the starting center. But no, he's literally been out since last year throughout the whole offseason came back to the g league for three games and now he's suffered another setback and now he's ruled out for the remainder of the season i believe also including the playoffs so expect even more from kavan looney who now we didn't really expect him to still be the warrior starting center the warriors used a number two overall pick they picked james wiseman over Lamelo ball and james wiseman still we haven't seen a sophomore year out of him at all. I have seen LaMelo Ball now become an all-star in his second year. And Wiseman hasn't played a single game. So that's one of the things if I was a Warriors fan, I would just keep the back of my mind. The fact that y'all could have had LaMelo Ball, maybe even like, I don't want to say as a sixth man, because obviously y'all would have put him in the starting lineup with Curry. But then you have two point guards in your lineup. It, maybe as a trade piece. I mean, even that, because y'all had D'Lo. Um, and y'all cheated him before Clay even got back. So, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely tough news for Warriors fan. Y'all expected a lot from Wiseman after he showed some promise last year. Obviously, he didn't play great last year. He dealt with a lot of, uh, obviously, injuries, the meniscus, and his play. The big thing with him last year, not that he was terrible. At some points, obviously, he wasn't playing the greatest. And the fact that he literally just couldn't simply catch the ball and pick a roll. So he literally would just get the ball. It would be in his hands. He would just drop it like a little kid just not being able to catch something or not being able to hold something he drops it on the floor and yeah i saw rosman kind of reminded me of last year just his inability to catch the basketball which literally should be i know it's obviously easier said than done but at some point like you're a big man you're always going to be in the pick and roll the pick and pop you have to be able to at least put them go ahead and catch the basketball to put your team in the best situation possible to win the game and if you're not catching the ball then what the fuck is your purpose at this point as a starting center in the nba but wiseman Honestly, you should have been back by the first um, game of the season. Kavon Looney's been putting in that work, and he's not even supposed to be getting this much minutes, this much uh, time, and you just have him just overworking himself, really, because he thought he'd be a backup big, but no, you're making him become now the starting center after they drafted you, number two, last year to become the starting center of the future. You missed a whole entire year now because of your injury after suffering multiple setbacks. So Wiseman, you should be back minimum by the first game of next season. And then we'll see what um, the Warriors actually have you because this is at this point, bro, this can go down a very bad road. So definitely don't get any more setbacks. Hopefully you don't have to undergo any more surgeries. Hopefully everything goes well. And hopefully, um, we're going to state fans. You are back minimum training camp into obviously the first day of the season next year. But yeah, Wiseman well, definitely tough news. Definitely wanted to see you this year, especially that, like I said, I saw you and the G League. You looked well, your mid range shot looked well, you're rebounding well. And then out of nowhere, you just get another setback that's so bad that you have to go ahead and sit out the whole entire season. Even if y'all go far in the playoffs, you can't even play at this rate, which is just so sad, okay. But other than that, yo, that is the video. Message. Go down below, drop a like, comment down below. Sub up. So follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok, boy John. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and I'm out, man. Peace.